What's that, mate? How's things? All good, mate. Thank you. How's yourself? Hi, mate. Good. I'm feeling good on the way. Good. Come finish now. Uh, the hard part's done, mate. Eh? Still just going to keep taking over. I've got another till Wednesday next week just to stay active. But other than that, mate, it's all good. Yeah. Um, my weight's fucking the best it's been at. So, I'm so happy. Good to wear you, mate. Good to wear you. I was wondering if we could start, mate, by telling us a bit about yourself and where your career in combat sports started. Uh, I um, I started training about when I was like 16 year old um, for Fighters Hive. Um, I've had a few MMA fights, a few Thai boxing fights, and yeah. then I retired, um, went away and travelled Australia. Um, trained with Tommy and Par over there a few times as well, which was quite good. And uh, came back and then. I pretty much just lived the family life and yeah. came back to training again. That's where I uh, started doing bare knuckle. Back then, that's a lot better. I enjoy it more as well. So it's good. Yeah, so out of all the combat sports that you've done, is it the bare knuckle that you enjoy the most? Aye, 100% aye. It's the most focus I've been as well. Most committed. Most committed um, to it. Before, I wasn't really committed, but with this one here, I am um, a lot more committed. Especially this camp here, it's fucking, it's good. I've been yeah, on fire the, this camp. I can't wait, mate, to get back in here. I bet you can't, mate. And when you first done your bare knuckle debut, was it something totally new for you, or do you had like many like fights growing up and things like that? I mean, well, where we're from, it's all gangs, different areas, yeah, teams. So I've always been brought up with that fighting different area codes, um, and then you go to the pubs, fighting with bouncers, and you're fighting with everybody else. And then before you know it, it's just, it just becomes a weekly thing. But I've always been fighting there, so it's since a young age. So it's not just I've just walked into a gym and so yeah. started martial arts. It's all better. Well, it, obviously, it must be a great feeling fighting on the biggest platform in the world in BKFC. It is. I will get to test myself. The last two fights, I've not really been tested. Yeah. So hopefully, Jimmy can come out here and fucking give me a test. But I don't think he's going to be able to handle it. Eh? I'm going to be too big, too strong, too powerful for him. Do you, do you know much about your opponent, Jimmy? I never, mate, see all my opponents, I never look into them. I'm, I'm no bored. I just go there and see what happens. I never do background and see what I like. Because um, it's just, anything can change in a fight. That one punch, that's what it's going to take. So you can spin them where you want, but it's never going to work. So no, I don't really know much about him, eh? I just know he's from England. I think this is his first bare knuckle fight as well, I'm sure. I don't know yeah, what he does I think it's his debut in the bare knuckle, yeah. Is it? As I see that I see that he's done like uh, K1 in MMA, I think it is, eh? Yeah. Uh, but all in that, I've not watched any of his fights. I'm not what's, what's your strongest background? Is, is it the your boxing that's your strongest like, asset? Thai boxing. Um, so I stand up as my strongest asset, I. I've done Thai boxing before. Eh? I've not had a boxing match, except for obviously the bare knuckle. So I bet it's a little better. Thai's quite brutal, anyway, isn't it? Disgusting, <laughs> mate. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> After my first fight, mate, I, I could started crying. I was in crutches. My legs were bashed the bits. I won the fight, but you're like, fuck me, man. And you've got to train a lot harder as well. These, yeah, it's just grueling, mate. Eh? Like, don't get me wrong. I've been training in a Thai boxing gym with other Thai boxers for this fight. Um, so I've been putting the pages in for that as well. But Thai box is just a different. It's no, uh, it's no nice. Yeah, I can imagine. Mate. It looks brutal. Like, and what weight are you going to be fighting at? Eighty four. So it's, I've came doing like my first fight. What was that? My first fight in another promotion. I was I started my was one hundred and fourteen kilos. I think it was. I came doing a ninety four, and then on the second fight, I think I was about a hundred. Yeah. Was it 100 and something, and I went to 97. I'm not going to say what I started this fight camp, but um, we were in, I was injured and then I've become a fat bastard, enjoyed the food, and then I've just had a, <laughs> it's been a 10 week camp of food. Um, and it's, it's it's a big cut, but it's no it's no killing myself, it's no draining myself. I'm still eating all the rest of it, and I feel better. So it's like 84 kilos, but I is that under light? Is that light heavy though? I don't know, it says light heavyweight, mate, but I don't know how the weight categories work. 
because it's just yeah, it's amazing you get so many, you get so many kilos. Uh, I think it says on the BKFC app that it's light heavyweight, but I can tell you like, it's, it's different weights it's come under a certain category as well. Yeah, because even even if you're fighting at the same weight, it's, you can have to meet still at a certain weight, don't you? It's, it's quite weird. Ah, uh, well, I think there's been a, I think there's been agreed that eighty three ninety one. I think that's the agreement. Right. Um, so I have to get a pound allowance. I think that's what it's staying there. Eh? So I'm just running up to eighty four kilos. Yeah. So yeah. Was that sorry? Do, do you follow the BKFC much? Like, are you watching many fighters over in your weight division and stuff? Uh I have been watching. I've, I've not ever watched it on on the app of that, eh? Like, yeah. Uh, obviously, I've been at the fight shows as well. I was at the Newcastle fight show, and I've seen some of the boys there as well. Um, but, but I just, as I don't really, uh, even with the UFC and stuff, like that, I don't really follow that. You don't watch the update for that. Yeah, I'm just getting it, and that's it. I just want to fight me. I just want to tear up. That's de-stress myself. That's what I call it, de-stressor. Yeah, and what, what what's your plans going in there? Are you just going to go full steam ahead, or are you gonna like fight I'm clever and just... smash that right in his fucking face, mate? I can't wait. Mate. <laughs> Honestly, mate, I can't wait. Like some, I just want to get back in there, mate. It's a year ago this weekend, I think it is since my last fight. Then I broke my hand and stuff. I get severe hand surgery, and just with the healing process, uh, uh, but my hands feel fucking fantastic, and I just can't wait to get in there. Punch him and hope he can punch me and give me one. Try and try and put my mask. I've never been put my mask before, so I'm hopeful I can get a good wee test. I've heard it's maybe a tough fight I've got here, so I'm hopeful this is gonna be a good one. I need it. Can't wait. Man. It's, it's gonna be some event, like it's gonna be some event. I mean, every fight is packed. That's yeah. there's no these the last show and that they make sure every fight's fucking at a good good level. And it's just it's brutal as well. I mean, bare knuckle like sometimes it goes quite, yeah. sometimes it goes the rounds. But it's just, it's a lot better setup as well. It's a good setup. Yeah, it's it's really good. obviously the, some fighters would get some like really bad damage in that in their bare knuckle. But I've witnessed it with my own eyes in the BKFC. They've got like all the medics there, and that as soon as the fighters are out the ring, they're stitching them up. And I, yeah. but that's what this this is what you sign up for. You know this is going to happen. You go and yeah. find the street and you can get hit, hit with a fist and you get cut open. It doesn't matter any different. It just controls. It's better for you. Like you know the you know the risks that you're going in there for. You sign out. You sign your life away. You know what I mean? You do that with every other promotion you fight on, every other fight you have. You sign it. You, you know you're going to get hurt. Yeah. So it's not. You nobody can really bump and moan about it. You're in there. It's, it's going to happen. You cut. You knocked out. It's like there's a show at the weekend. There's some guy with a big massive swell up face. These things happen. Like, yeah, was that bad to the bone? Aye. Yeah, I was there live watching that. It was that was another good show, mate. All the guy fights. Like a, guy looked like a space raider. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just... bad, bad, bad injuries, mate. Bad. Like, fuck. <laughs> but, but yeah, mate. The um, predictions. Do you have any predictions for the night? See, I had my last two fights. I always said round two, round two, and it just lasted first minute. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know I, the way I've trained this fight camp to my previous fight camps has fucking been incredible eh? so we'll see I would like to get I would like to get tested mate I would like him to try and take me into the trenches yeah um, and see what I've got but once I catch him man he's fucking he's sleeping eh? he's out he's getting caught like, so uh, I would like to say two rounds We'll see you after the first first ten seconds. If it takes yeah. me. <laughs> and obviously before we wrap it up, mate, is there anything else you want to share with us or any sponsors around you want to put a shout out to? I've got a few sp- I've got a few sponsors if I can just say thanks to them. Not a problem. Um, I've got my gym that I train at Fighters Hive and Hustle Gym as well. I've got NG Electrical, I've got Douglas Developments, um, I've got Forever Warm Windows and Doors, and I've also got a new a new one that's just came on board um, global productions and events um, they're my sponsors that's helped me through this camp as well it's been good uh, the guys I've been training with I've been training at another gym as well just the last couple of weekends just for extra sparring uh, black box thanks to you guys as well um, 
and my missus because she's been fucking helpful, like uh, making sure that I go to training. My dinners, even when I'm eating fish, uh, my dinners are ready for me. Everyone's all good. Um, thanks to you as well, mate, for bringing me on. No uh, problem. Be good, fucking for a quick ten minutes. And <laughs> BK, BKFC as well, mate. We gave me this chance to um, to see what I've what I've got to offer. And I'll be back in the mix with other, other guys. Yeah, sweet mate, and um, I'll catch up with you down London with the worms and that'll grab another interview off you if that's all right, bro. Ah, that's sound, man. That's the ball. That's all good for me. And we, uh, we Mr. Potato Head, you're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I can get Jimmy on, but I don't think he wants to do an interview until the fight's over. Ah, that's fine. He's, he's, he'll be he'll be focused as well, like I am, yeah. and it seems like he must be training hard, so... It's good, like it's good that you're not coming to these shows and you're half arsed in your camp and you're you're doing everything all wrong. Like you're here to fight. I mean, it's going to be a fucking, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, that it is, mate. That it is, hundred percent. But like I say, mate, really appreciate you coming on, and we'll um, definitely catch up very soon. Bro. I, no, I'll see you next weekend, mate. I'll be doing there. Um, we'll get a catch up and that. Spot on, bro. Thanks again, yeah, kind of. Cheers, man. Take care. See you later, mate. See you, man. Cheers. Yes, people, I'm going to put all Kyle's uh, social medias in the description there. So make sure you head over there and give this guy a follow on his bare knuckle journey. And um, he's going to be fighting on the 4th of March, Crystal Palace, BKFC 37. So make sure you don't miss it. The links are going to be in the description. Um, also, I'll put a list of his sponsors in the description as well. So you can head over there and give them a check out as well. But big up, people. Appreciate everything.